Ah! So after kind of a silly day and silly start to our day and a beautiful bus ride from Toronto down to Corto, we are here. So we're gonna check into the Airbnb and then go get some food. Today was a very silly day. Hello and welcome to our palace here at Corcha. As soon as you enter, you can see that the chi immediately flows right into the bathroom. There's a sink. The sink is nice. It's a little low. It's a wet bathroom, so we're just going to spray this whole, whole thing down. People walking by will get a free show. We're good people. We've had some small kitchens, and we like to call those a one-butt kitchen. This is a half-butt kitchen. You did great. That was great. That was a great cooking mine. They fit a whole kitchen in and a whole freezer. Oh, they left us half of some water. That's very kind. Here is the bedroom. We have two single beds, even though we love each other very much. There's a lot of storage space here. More blankies. Oh, that's good. that's nice. Oh, reading material. We learn Albanian in the next four days. There's a desk with two seats, but this is nice. You know, it's really small, but it's really nice. So like Steve-O said, the apartment's a little small, but it's all we need. And now we're gonna head out and get some dinner because we are so hungry after that long bus day. This place Steve-O found is super cute. We're here a little early. You can see there's not many people. Very kindly, the bar staff gave us three shots of Rocky. It's your first time having Rocky, right? This will be my first time. I am trepidatious and a little scared, but I'm ready to uh, become a man. It's really good. I've had it a few times. And you are much manlier than I am. Thank you. We got one, one dark and one light. And the guy says we should mix them together. We're gonna mix together in our tummies, so. Might as well. Might as well beat it to the punch. Let's mix them together. Let us know if you've ever been told to do this. <laughs> Before we start dinner, we're gonna take our Rocky shot. Steve's first Rocky. Got a document. Cheers. Feel... You're supposed to sip it, actually. Oh, God, babe. <laughs> The guy told us it's baked rocky with apples and cinnamon, and it smells like Christmas. Oh, it does smell like Christmas. Another round. 20 more of those. Our total bill came out to 30 50 And we got a lot of food. We got a lot of food. We had alcohol. They gave us oh, yeah, four food. free shots of rocky. So we both have a bit of work to get done for uh, people this evening. It's also getting kind of chilly here. It is kind of cold. So we're going to get indoors. Let's get off the streets, bro. <laughs> we had breakfast at home this morning because we were both getting some work done. Now it's uh, mid, mid morning and we're going to start heading out for the day. Playing with the filters. This is us. This is what we always look like. These are what big my eyes always are. This is the Resurrection of Christ Cathedral. It is the largest Orthodox cathedral in all of Albania. It was built in 1994 after the original was destroyed in 1968 because of communism. Right outside, as you exit the cathedral, you'll be looking at St. George's Boulevard, and it is a lovely walking street. I'm standing here where the church used to stand. It was torn down in 1971. When they reinvigorated this area, they put the facade of the church into the bricks here so that we can remember what it used to look like and they turned the library that was built in its place into an information center for citizens. Learning. The 
This is a viewing tower here in the city. It is closed today, but apparently you get a really cool view of all of Korcha from up top. At the end of St. George's Boulevard is the Korcha City Theater. There weren't any shows happening while we were in town, but you might get lucky and stop in to see what's going on. So we are hungry. We're heading to a restaurant on Republic Boulevard called Find Four. This place was recommended by our Airbnb host who gave us lots of great tips about Korcha, so we're really excited to try it out. The other nun says to the other nun, Sister, have you ever come this way? And she says, No, it must be the cobblestone. Nice. So here's a cobblestone street. <laughs> Just next door to the restaurant, we noticed this cobblestone road. So we're taking a walk up it because it's very quaint. Just off most of the main streets, you can look left or right and find cobblestones. I bet we can get some good views from up here. Look at that so far. It's gonna be a great view from up top. Almost to the top here. View. I'm gonna keep walking up since we can. I was gonna say that. Get up. Oh no. I'll listen to you, sign. You're not my real dad. Going all the way up. Go all the way. It's a cemetery. What a really cool walk. Really, unexpected views up here. We just walked up a random cobblestone street and we ended up uh, on a big ass hill overlooking the entire city. Absolutely worth uh, the climb up and there seem to be pathways going either direction once you're up there at the top road. If you're in the mood for a hike. Come on down. Come on yeah. up. Gonna head back now toward the walking street um, and then go from there. And... <laughs> What's the deal with the freaky teddy bears in Albania? If you know, comment below. We've seen a lot of teddy bears in this country. bubble water like we are. Glina is your brand. So we're in the Korcha Bazaar area. We're gonna go walk in here and find a nice cafe to get a coffee. And maybe a beer. And mix them together like the guy told us <laughs> yesterday. That's not what he said. He said to mix two beers together. What other things do we mix together? I don't know. We'll find out. We're standing here in the alleyway of the old bazaar here in Korcha. This place was a hop, hip hop happening place in the 19th and 20th century with over a thousand stores. It wasn't so much that during communism times. And then they completely redid this place in 2015 and now it looks really cool. It's uh, only really the main center is where businesses seem to be open, at least today on a Tuesday around, you know, six o'clock in the evening. So we're gonna head now to get some dinner at a place called Taverna Vasili. We were recommended this place by Chrissy, who uh, has been messaging us on Instagram. Her husband is from Korcha, and so they've been here so many times and know all the great places to go. So thanks Chrissy for all of your tips. Cute little Korcha city tour train. It's been here all day, it hasn't been running, but it seems like they take you to some cool parts of town. If it's not running tomorrow, we'll hijack it and take ourselves on our own tour. Ooh, I like that idea. That's a bad idea. <laughs> We're back on the walking street for the third time today, right? Yes. We are going for what the Albanian people call a shiro. Basically, it translates directly to walk. This is 
the lemon cream soup that Chrissy recommended to us. Thanks, Chrissy. Can we give it a try? Good. This place is a steakhouse, so had to get some steak. Oh no. What's up? What's wrong, Steve-O? I don't like mushrooms. Are you team mushroom or team mushrooms are gross? Let us know in the comments. If you're if you're on team mushroom, just know you're wrong. Well, I'll be eating a lot of mushrooms along with my meatballs, which I am excited about. <laughs> and the second recommendation from Chrissy was the Karnaka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it means meatballs. Ooh, that was good. Oh. Onions? Mm. Mm. These are really good meatballs. Thanks for hanging with us today. We will catch you tomorrow with more Corcha Adventures. We're still here. Mm-hmm. <laughs>